that's the first thing that I ended up, the na 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 na. Hey guys, welcome back. So I have got a really fun video for y'all today. I was so excited and grateful and my day was just completely made when Pixie sent me a giant box with a bunch of new releases from them. And these are all in collaboration with beauty influencers. So there are different little collections here where they collaborated with different influencers. So there's just a bunch of fun new products here. So what I'm gonna do is do a little show and tell, run through the different products, show you swatches, and then just kind of let you know my overall impressions and thoughts on these products. So let's get to it. First, I wanna start with this product. This is in collaboration with Caroline Hirons. And her little quote on the box that they sent me says, determination. Double cleansing made easy. If you want a foolproof method to remove waterproof makeup and SPF, this is it. So this is a double cleanse, solid cleansing oil on one side, so that's step one, and then step two is the cleansing cream. So it's a two-in-one product. Love the packaging on this whole collection. It's just so like clean and pretty and girly, and I love it. So on the side, it says, Skin loving ingredients, solid cleansing oil, vitamin E, protects and conditions, camellia, 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 I don't, camellia oil, omega rich and nourishes, and then it says evening primrose oil, heals and moisturizes. And then for the cleansing balm, it says vitamin C promotes collagen and protects, peptide complex, line relaxing and plumping, and then arginine improves cell renewal and elasticity. So not only is this supposed to work really well, but it's also supposed to do really, really great things for your skin. So remove the makeup, but also do nice things for your skin. So I've tried this out. First off, I really like the packaging of it. It's like a two-sided thing there. It's got the little swirly in the middle and then you open it up and one side is the balm and one side, so the balm is over here and then you've got the cream over there. So. Just a really cool product. So I've tried this a couple of times. The cleansing balm reminds me a lot of other cleansing balms that I've tried, like the It Cosmetics one, which I really do like. And then I really, really like the cleansing cream. I really didn't think I would because it just seems like it would be a little bit too emollient for my preferences, but I'm getting more into liking that kind of stuff just as I'm getting older and my skin isn't as oily as it used to be. I like more like creamy emollient products. And this isn't oily, it just feels hydrating and nice on the skin. So both feel really, really nice. Um, this does make my eyes a little bit blurry, but so does the IT Cosmetics and most eye makeup removers do, as a matter of fact. So anyway, I really do like this. I think this is a cool product. Um, one that when it first came in, I was like, oh, just because skincare isn't my first love, I'm really like, dedicated to skincare, but I don't get excited about it like I do eyeshadow and lipstick and stuff, but I use it really consistently. So after using this, I'm like, I really, really like this. And I think that it's kind of like the skincare lover's product in this new collection of new releases. Then there are three products in collaboration with Miriam McKeelage. I hope I'm saying that right. And her quote says, believe. I used my makeup artist experience to create the perfect contour palettes and the most hardworking duo brush around. So there's a brush and then there are two palettes here. So first off the brush, I've tried this a few times and does it have a name? This is the Strobe and Sculpt Brush, Highlight and Contour Brush Duo. Super, super soft. That's the first thing that I, the na -na 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 -na, that I noticed about it is that it's just really, really soft and nice love this side like this was really nice for really like kind of chiseling out and doing a really nice contour this side it's very soft and nice but it's a shape that i find a little bit difficult to use i don't know why i think it's the mix of it maybe being synthetic plus the shape of it i don't really know i had a little bit of trouble blending with this one it kind of like stuck the product and i couldn't get it blended enough maybe because it's almost like it's too soft and maybe not dense enough I mean, it's dense, but maybe that it has a little bit too much movement. But again, I feel like brushes are such like a personal preference. So it might just be me because I've had other brushes that had this shape and I had the same sort of experience with them. So it might just be user error. But I love this side and I do think this is super soft and nice. Then we have the Strobe and Sculpt Highlight and Contour Palette and the Strobe and Bronze Glow and Bronze Palette. I do have these on my face today and 
I'm pretty much wearing as many of these products as I could get on my face. I was just layering things and using as many of them as I could just because I wanted to be able to show you guys. And I've been trying these out, but the more times that you use a product, the more that you learn about them. So I wanted to use them again. So this first one, the Strobe and Sculpt Highlight and Contour Palette. I have it swatched right there. This one is a little bit um, deep for my complexion, so I have to be really light-handed, especially with the contour shades. But I do really like the selection of colors in there. There's um, a more warm-toned one, a more cool-toned one, and they're just really nice textures. That's one thing about Pixi is that I really, really am impressed with their face products. I first fell in love with them with... Um, I was trying to remember the name of this palette and I it's either Rosy Radiance or just Rosy Palette. It's Rosy something. They sent it to me around Christmas time and that palette totally made me fall in love with their face products. I think they're great. I think they blend really well and these seem the same. So this one has three mattes. So these two are mattes here and that one is matte and then the other ones are shimmery. So I love that they have a more warm toned, a more cool toned. Then they have a shimmery, a nice matte shade there, some nice colors for kind of like strobing and highlighting. Really, really pretty. So this one's really beautiful. And then the other one is the strobe, I'm getting makeup all over the boxes. The strobe and bronze glow and bronze palette. This one's my personal preference. It just works better with my skin tone, but I love that they have different options here for everybody. So the strobe and bronze glow and bronze palette. This one is swatched right here. These seem to be a little bit more, um, I don't know, neutral and less like super cool tone because that one you've got that really cool tone. This one is a little bit more kind of warm and neutral, but I just love these. So as far as what is shimmery and what is matte, I can't really tell. That one's kind of like a, kind of like a satin, but these two here are matte. And then those are all strobing highlighting. So really, really pretty. I like these. This one I'm really using more just because it works better for me, but these are both really nice quality, really beautiful. And there are two palettes in collaboration with It's Judy Time. This one is the Get the Look It's Eye Time eyeshadow palette. And this is the Get the Look It's Lip Time lip color palette. So super duper cute, love the names on these. So I've used these a couple of times. I'm really, really enjoying the eyeshadow palette. My friend April from Wanna Makeup told me that this is such a great palette. So I've been interested in it ever since I watched her video. And I think even her snaps got me first interested in it. Just a really beautiful, warm toned palette. There's a nice collection of mattes and shimmers in here. You have to like warm tones to like this palette. If you're more of a cool toned eyeshadow person, this probably won't be for you. Um, things that I wish it had, really just a matte brow bone shade. I do wish that was in here, but other than that, there's really nice blending shades, really pretty lid shades, really nice for smoky eyes, just like a lot of great collections of options in there. Collections of options? No, a lot of great options in there. So here are the swatches, really, really nice. Um, I don't have anything negative to say about this. They blend really well. They're really nice and pigmented. I do like the shimmers applied with my fingers more. Um, I did use a brush today, but I found that using my fingers, they have more intensity that way. So that's maybe something else I would change about it. I do wish there was maybe like one other light lid shade, but that's kind of a personal preference. Those are the shadows that I just like gravitate towards and love. So that's more of a, a personal preference, not like something bad about the palette. So they all blend really nicely. They wear really well throughout the day. They work well together. They don't get all like muddy. There is differentiation. Of course, if you go with like the colors that are really close, you're not gonna see a big difference. But if you use some of these and then a darker shade, there is that nice differentiation. So really, really pretty, loving that palette. The lip palette, I'm not super blown away by, but I'm not really a lip palette person. Like. I just don't gravitate towards them or use them a lot, so that's part of it. But one thing I will say about it, I like the collection of colors in here. I really like that it's got neutrals, it's got some bright shades, some fun like deeper shades. So it's a good collection of colors. I love that she did them separately because it like totally just, oh my goodness, drives me crazy when there are powder products in with a cream product because they just get gross and they dry out more quickly. So I love that it's in a separate palette. So those are good things about it. 
So here are some swatches. Um, something I notice about this is you really have to get down into these to get some pigmentation because the top layer is really just, I don't know, it's, you know, it's exposed to air. So I guess it's just drier and doesn't have as much pigmentation. So you kind of have to like dig down into the product. Um, but then I also noticed that it takes a lot of building to get the color. Now, some of them like this red, I wore this the other day. That was really nice. Like it, it built up pretty nicely. Once I kind of got down into it, it did have some nice pigmentation, but this one I'm wearing today and I had to apply a lot of layers to get it to this point. But once you have it on there, I really like the formula of them. They're kind of like a, just a matte sort of a formula. They feel like a matte lipstick. So they're not super hydrating, but they don't necessarily feel drying either. They feel like they're not gonna go anywhere. So that's what I do like about them. Don't like that it takes a while to build them up, but I do like that once you get them on there, they feel like they're gonna stay. So this isn't my favorite product from the collection, but I don't think it's a bad product. I think it's just gonna be personal preference if you like lip palettes and just go into it knowing you might have to apply several layers to get some pigmentation. And then lastly, there are five products in collaboration with Aspen Novard. I forgot to read to you Judy's quote, so let me read that. It says, beauty. My palettes contain all of my favorite eye and lip colors that effortlessly take me from day to night. Super cute. Okay, so Aspen's quote says, gratitude. I can't live without a highlighter. I use these as a finishing touch for all my looks. So let me start with this product. This is the Eye Accents Precision Mascara and Clear Brow Gel. So I used both of these today. The brow gel's great. Like it, you know, held my brows in place and I really don't use brow gels on like a regular basis, but if you do, this seems like a good one. It seems like it, you know, holds them in place. It's a nice clear one, so it's gonna work for everybody. So that seems nice. Really, really liked this mascara, this lower lash mascara. It is so tiny. It reminds me so much of the It Cosmetics um, Tightline Mascara. It's just itty, itty, bitty. And it just applied so nicely, built up nicely, wasn't clumpy, um, not difficult to apply. It did build up nicely. I really like this. It honestly reminds me of kind of like a combination between the Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara and the It Cosmetics Tight Line because it's like the formula kind of reminds me of the Clinique one, but then the wand reminds me of the It Cosmetics one. So really like this. And then these, oh my goodness, I love these. These are the standouts for me from all the new releases. These are my favorites. Love, love, love them. These are the glowy powders. So first off, let's start with this one. Well, first I wanna say they do have a screw off top. I wish that that was different. I wish it was just like a regular hingy sort of a situation, but it's a screw off and on sort of a packaging. So that's not my favorite. I would change the packaging, but I love the products inside. So this first one is the glowy powder in London Luster. And this one is a highlighter. I have this one swatched down here. This is like a beautiful, light, icy champagne sort of a color. I'm not wearing this one on my cheekbones today, but I've worn it several times and love it. It is a very light shade, so just know that about it, but it's beautiful. I love that one. The next one, this is the Glowy Powder in Rome Rose, and this is a cheek powder. So this one is right in the middle here. This is just a beautiful, like, peachy pink with like a golden glow to it. Probably a dupable color, not probably, it's definitely a dupable color, but it's that beautiful, just like youthful, everyday glowy blush color. So I think it's just a great one to go with because I think it's a great blush that just works and you're gonna get a lot of use out of. So I think it's a good one to pick. So beautiful shade, oh my God. Goodness, I love that. I do have that on today. And then the highlighter that I'm wearing is this one. So that's what I've got on my cheekbones today. This one is the Glowy Powder in Santorini Sunset. So this one is a highlighter as well. And this one is swatched up here. So this one is more of like a um, light golden sort of a highlight. Really, really pretty. I think that's gonna be really nice and versatile. These are pretty layered together. Love, love, love them. Now I would say they're not as buttery and soft as like the Makeup Geek highlighters. I kind of compare everything to those because I feel like that formula is just perfection. These are not 
quite that buttery, but they seem kind of like the NYX ones, but maybe almost like they're in between the NYX duochrome highlighters and the Makeup Geek highlighters. So kind of like right in between. So really still a nice texture, not quite as like perfect as the Makeup Geek ones, but still really, really nice. And I just love the colors that they picked. So these are definitely the standouts for me. All right guys, so those are all the new releases that I have to show you. So I would say standouts for me personally would be the It's Judy Time palette, the, what's it called? Get the Look It's I Time palette. Super cute name, really nice palette and definitely these. I'm just loving these. Also really like that lower lash line mascara too. So there's just lots of great things in this collection, but those are my favorites. So hope that you guys really enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful for you. Please give it a thumbs up if it was and let me know down below what you think about these products. If you've tried them out, what are your thoughts and opinions? Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.